hi lovely landlords i hope you're all well throughout covid so this is your june lettings market update i'm sure as you can imagine we've been excessively busy throughout june it has been manic out there getting everything through for the stamp duty relief and also demand has been extremely high both in the sales and lettings market so let's just talk about the lettings market the legislation changes that are coming in this month and what exactly is going on so really quickly with regards to market update we are still finding demand is stupidly high there is still a massive stock shortage in particular in three and four bedroom homes so we are pushing much higher than normal rentals, which is great because we haven't had an increase in rentals in this area for a couple of years. So we're really lifting that right now. Great amount of uh, demand, which is also really good because we're getting a good choice of tenants, not just um, non-working tenants. We're getting a lot of working tenants, a lot of tenants relocated from other areas, a lot of working professionals, which is really what we as landlords want in a property. So really good choice of tenants, lots of tenants out there searching. You can push a premium rental on your property right now if you have a rental property on the market. Now the only thing I would say to you is standard of finish as usual is hugely important. So you need to make sure your standard of finish is absolutely on point. If you don't have it on point, you're still going to struggle to move that rental. So you do need to make sure that you have your standard of finish absolutely on point sorry please excuse the guard dog wandering across the, <laughs> the yard there so that's really quick regarding supply and demand on properties now talking about legislation changes where are we at with legislation changes now we haven't got too much this month thank goodness touching wood um, i think as i said the market's so busy with everything else the government has actually kind of forgotten about us for a little bit which is great so two things just to bear in mind this month is the fire changes. So obviously with the Gendolf Tower incident, there's been a lot of fire changes in legislation. There is a new fire safety bill going through at the moment, and that'll be very interesting to follow to see what's going to happen. But I see a lot of fire changes coming from that. And as we previously know, they have previously discussed looking at pat chain, pat changing? pat testing appliances. Obviously we have the electrical safety regulations in play, which affects the normal fuse board, however, and the wiring of the property. However, I do see them looking at pushing this pat testing forward. So something to be mindful of, if you have a new rental property or a rental property you're taking back to market, something to consider would maybe be supplying less white goods. The more white goods you supply anyway, the more you have to maintain, the more maintenance you have on things like dishwashers and washing machines that are luxury items, they get a lot of use and abuse. So I do advise most of my landlords don't to supply them anyway. Don't to supply them, don't supply them anyway can't talk can you believe my brain's been fried through this month um so i would say really white goods only really put in anyway ovens and fridges and hobs obviously otherwise everything else is kind of luxury items they are the items that get the most abuse when it comes to things as dishwashers washing machine tumble dryers so i would strongly recommend that you stick to minimal white goods especially if they're looking at the pack change and testing changes coming into play Secondly, the other thing to bear in mind legislation wise is right to rent checks. So as you know, we left the EU at the beginning of the year. We have had a delayed transition with right to rent checks. So they have obviously been a bit lenient with us with right to rent check changes with COVID and everything going on there. But these are regarding the EU changes. So with Brexit, it means that, that tenants that are an EU nationality don't automatically have the right for living in the UK. Therefore, there are changes going through. We have a new way that we need to complete right to rent checks and a new system that we need to follow. There's also a new government portal with regards to that. It is quite long winded. It's a bit complex. So I would have to explain it to you in more detail if you need any queries on right to rent checks. What I would say to you is it doesn't apply to tenants that are already in situ. So if you've got a tenant in situ at the moment, that's not applying to that. So if you've got an EU national in your tenancy, it doesn't apply. However, it does apply obviously to anybody that's not in the EU and has a permit 
um, or right to live in the UK, they still need to make sure that you keep on top of that. So you still need to make sure you're checking your visas and you're checking your documentation. That hasn't changed. It's just EU nationals that had an automatic right to rent in the UK that has changed. And there is a new system now for checking them and making sure that they qualify for the right to rent in the UK. So that is a really, really, really brief quick market update. Lexus market still buoyant. Would I buy? Yes, there are some deals, ava deals available. If you are looking for a rent property, we have two off-market deals at the moment, which are direct with landlords that are looking to just cash in, sell up, great tenants in situ. So if you are looking for an off-market deal, give me a shout, let me know. There are still lots of properties out there. It's still a really good investment. You're still gonna achieve five to six percent yield very easily. So get ready to grow your portfolio because if the capital growth keeps continuing at 12.9%, which is what it's on at the moment, crazy, I know, then you're gonna have an asset that's pushing 20% a year for you. So madness. Not sustainable madness, being brutally honest with you, not sustainable madness, but it is a really good investment when it comes to property. As you know, can't be lost or stolen or taken away. It's one of the safest investments in the world if it is managed correctly with the right managing agent. So really quick market update. If you have any questions, queries, or want to know any more as per usual, please feel free, drop me over an email or give me a call on the details below. See you later, bye bye.